Oh, wait, does Tani have a king and a... <laughs> okay, well, now you guys are going to get an example. We're going to see if any education holds here or it doesn't. So I'm playing Tani. He's got 50 moves to checkmate with a king and a knight. Let's Or a king, knight, and bishop, sorry, of course. Let's see if he can do it. Let's see if he can do it. Now, again, you guys, the only way you can checkmate is you need the king to be in the light square corner. So he needs the king in one of these corners. If I can keep the king in the opposite corner, I don't think he can win. Uh, he can't win because the bishop can't touch the... T bishop needs to touch the square. He's already made a mistake, I think. Because now my king is running. Well, I mean, he's still winning. He's got more than enough time. But let's see. He's got 40... No, he's got 39 moves. 39 moves to make a checkmate. If he doesn't make checkmate in 39 moves, um, then then uh, then it's a draw. This is, I mean, this. I think once you've studied it, it's not very hard to know how to create the L. But the, it is good if it is good for Tawny. This is a good experience, actually, because this is an endgame that he does need to know. He's already at a level where he does need to know the checkmate. Okay, but now I'm going to run the other way, and we're going to see if he can actually do it. Whoa! Thank you to Mike32377 for the five gifts. It's appreciated, man. Thank you so much. Yeah, he's 10 years old, I think, and he's like 20, 2200. Or maybe, no, he's 9, sorry. He's 9, he's like 2150 or something. Um, but yeah, if he doesn't get it, he's going to study this hard. That's actually very good. That's, that's actually perfect. Oh, he turned 10? Okay, okay. Do I know this by heart? Not perfectly, because every setup is a little bit different. But yeah, I have a pretty general idea of how to do it. Um, I should have gone to F3, actually. It was a mistake. We'll go here. Now I think he's got it. Now he should actually be able to make the checkmate. Because now the king is stuck on the edge, so he should be able to make it. He actually should. How many 9-year-olds can even be 2100? Yeah, I mean, he's, he's obviously a super talent. Okay, pretty good. 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 Although now he has to now he has to know the right technique. Let's see if he gets it. Let's see if he gets a technique here. He's only got 30 seconds, which is kind of a problem. But he still should be able to win this if he if he remembers the technique. Yeah, it says he's 1730 feet a yeah, because US tournaments played in the US are not rated um are not rated for the international rankings in most cases. I think I just go here. Yeah. Yeah, he's not he's not gonna do it. He doesn't know it. Um, okay, so he does need to study this end game. So basically, let's go back. Um, so right around here, he had this. Um, now the key here is that basically you need to make uh, you basically need to make this classic. You can make the L or you can make the W. Do it in thirty seconds. Yeah, I could try. Um, but you have, you basically have to make the uh, you have to make the you have to make the L. And I think this is one of the easiest ways to do it is here here, and you go knight here. The king goes here, and you go knight here. So when the king comes up, the king gets cut. And when king h3 occurs, um, there's a way to, uh, let me try to remember, wait, actually is knight d3 the easiest way? There's also knight g4 and bishop d3. Um, I think actually bishop d3 is cleaner here. Bishop d3 is a little bit cleaner, so when king h4 you go bishop e2. This one is cleaner, because here you go knight e5, the king back, you check, and then you go here, king gets stuck, king goes up, you go back. And now you go here, 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 and now you just basically uh, do the rotations. I guess this is the easiest way to do it. You go check and then mate. Knight holds, check mate. Um, only 5k wa people watching. Yeah, we're, we're, we're chilling, you guys. Weekends, people have other things to do. Knight g2 to check instead of bishop f7. Oh, you want, you want the other one? You want this? Well, I guess we're playing. Okay, let's go g5 here. It's not easy to do. But yeah, I would say that Tawny at his level, he should be able to do it. Like, it doesn't matter who he's playing against. If he has a minute on the clock, he should be able to do it, is what I would say. Let's go d3. 
Snuggy says, heading out for thanks for game. You're very welcome. Hope you're doing well. Viewer count Andes. Yeah, viewer count Andes. I mean, that's not what it's about, you guys. You're going to have good days, you're going to have bad days. But I think, like, if, if you're going to focus on the numbers, the, view, the concurrence every single day, you're, you're going to become neurotic. And then it's like, then it's not about fun. Then you're just being, like, you're just being weird because, like, then the only thing that matters is viewers. And, like, I mean, I that's, that's not the point of streaming. Oh, maybe I turned off, um, did I turn off shuffle? No, I didn't. Okay. That's a free juicer. Always stream as if you had zero viewers, don't talk. Yeah, I mean, I, I tend to think about it the same way. It's like, you know, if, if I have 6K or I have 15K, it doesn't really change much. You just you just stream. Like, uh, you're, you're trying to bring content. And I mean, at the end of the day, if you create good content, people will watch. It's all about the market. The market decides. The market decides. Let's go A4. Let's go Knight A4. Uh, I think people forget this world is opening back up and people want to be out again. Not everyone's stuck in their house anymore. To a certain degree, that's true. But I will say I will say that I am very concerned that there is going to be another sort of shutdown at some point. The invisible hand of the stream market. Okay, Sayonar. You you and your Adam Smith folks can, you know, ooh, invisible hand, ooh. Hasn't that been debunked anyway, the invisible hand? I don't think invisible hand um, exists anymore, does it? Is, is, is it? Hasn't it been, like, refuted or not? Go F6 and takes. Yeah, let's go over K and checkmate. Oh, it never existed? Okay, it never existed in the first place? All right. I don't have a TSM jacket. No, I've got my... Um... Speaking, actually, that's funny. I've got my Canada shirt. You guys see it? Run. I've got my Run Canada t-shirt on. Uh, let's play E3. Let's go Bishop B5 here. Is that a Terry Fox shirt? No, it's a shirt from when I did the, uh, I did a 5K, I think it was a 5K on Canada Day last July in 2019 um, with my mom. So we went up to Van Vancouver and we did we did a uh, Canada Day run. I think it was it was near UBC if I remember correctly, uh, just, just north of downtown. That's Castle here, a Knight F3 and D4. That jumper makes you look like Eric Rosen. Hey, it's anytime you're compared to a legend out of Chicago like Eric Rosen, it's a good day. Let's play H3, maybe D, D3, E4. Oh, wait, what? how many pieces does he have? He's got an extra what? Actually, I didn't realize. I thought I was only down one rook, but I'm actually down an extra piece too, not just one rook. Nice place to run UBC. Yeah, I mean, I've been to the east coast of Canada, but, I mean, it's not the same. I mean, I, I will always love BC. BC will always be where my heart is. Go e4. We're on the east coast. I've been in I've been in Montreal a couple of times. I've been in Quebec or not Quebec, sorry, uh, Toronto a few times as well. Um, so I've been in Toronto. I've been in uh, I've been in Toronto. I've been in Montreal. I mean, I don't like Toronto. I think Toronto is pretty awful. I'm not gonna lie, but yeah. Toronto is like. Ter there's further east. What you want me to go to Newfoundland or or you know like Halifax? I mean, like you're. I'm not going to Newfoundland or you know like uh, PEI. Like that's just not my jam. Take. Why is Toronto awful? I'm from Toronto. Maybe awful is the wrong word, but I feel like the perception of Toronto is it's supposed to be like this high end kind of really nice place, and. Um, and so, like, I think when you have that in your mind that that's what Toronto is, and then you go there and it's like, to me, it's just like a poor man's New York, like, then it just doesn't do it for me. Whereas if, for example, if you go to, if, like, the perception, if I had a different view of Toronto where it's like, okay, it's just like, it's a nice city in Canada, then it, then, then I might have a different view. But society and the media and everything that you read dictates that it's like the high end, you know, the high end fancy place in, in Eastern Canada. Um, yes, I have been, to, I have been to Saskatoon. I've been to, I've been I've been to Saskatoon, yes. Um, so so yeah, like w when you look at Toronto, that's the perception. So I, I that's the perception I have. So when I go there, it's like, well, that's not that's actually kind of how I view it as a poor man's poor man's New York. I've never been to Ottawa. No, I've never been to Ottawa. Yeah, Nova Scotia and PEI are very nice. I've just never been there. Um, I've never been to like New Brunswick. Like I've never been to that 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 part. Uh, let's take the rook. 
That's why I'm in London, Canada. What's in London? Is that where Guelph is? Let's go Bishop E5, I guess. I Yeah, I mean, I more or less lived in Vancouver um, in 2008. I was downtown. I was in uh, Yale Town. Let's go F4 here. Let's go F5. You have pretty good knowledge of Ontario. I mean, I've just traveled too much. I've spent my life on the road way too much. So I have some like ridiculous knowledge of like everywhere, which is good and bad. It's good because it means I'm knowledgeable, but it's bad because it means that I've never really spent a lot of time in any specific city. Let's go checkmate. Do I like Scotland? Scotland is uh Scotland's nice. I mean Edinburgh is amazing. The the uh, the Queen's Gardens there were really nice when I was there. Okay, actually I'm gonna take a break again. Need to use the restroom, so we'll be back. We'll keep going. I'm gonna try to play subs for the next 22 hours, so we just keep rolling, you guys. What I miss? Play Night of Three here. Can't hear you muted? No, I'm here. My microphone is moving. Very funny, you guys. Play E3. Um, we need a chair in Fanny Moat when he's gone. Yeah. Uh huh. Okay, let's go Bishop D3. Maybe I just castle and play Knight D2 next move. I did wash my hands, you guys. Have I ever been to Dubai? I have. Yelltown is getting sketchier. Yeah, I mean, I was in Yelltown, but I think in Vancouver, I actually, when I was last there in like 2012, when I spent a significant chunk of time, I actually kind of, I started falling in love with the West End. I thought the West End was a little bit nicer. Let's go rookie one. Thank you to iKugelbits for the five months. Appreciate it. Thank you. Take with the e-pawn, of course. No worries, Immortal Poke. Hope you enjoyed the game. The fan is not blowing my, my, my voice away. Also, you guys, I mean, the other thing I would say about Canada, like, is Vancouver has become a lot cheaper if you have a, uh, if you have a, uh, if you have a, um, if, if you, if you have USD. Because when I was in, when I was in Vancouver, it was like, it was even money. The Canadian dollar was one to one against the US dollar. So, like, everything was crazy expensive, but now it's like a 25% haircut at least. So, when I look at real estate in Canada or in Vancouver, it's like 25% discount to what it used to be. Let's go A4, A5 here. No, I mean, Chad, I'm not saying Vancouver's cheap, but I'm saying when you think, you know, if you look at a house, if you look at a small apartment for 500K and it's one to one, that's much different than you look at a small apartment at 500, 500K Canadian dollar, where now that's like 375 or something versus being 500K USD. Like, there's a big difference. Um, thanks to Trump. No, no, come on, Riff. Don't pretend that it's thanks to Trump. It's, it's due to your own, it's due to your own government with, you know, good old surfer boy and, um, and 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 all all the other people. Let's 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 not pretend, dude. Let's not pretend. Um, let's go if you want. I have to go. Can we play earlier? Yeah, next time maybe. Next time, yeah. I mean, yes. Who's it? It's it's Maroni and, and Trudeau. Yes, let's take take the night. Kate Kona educated. Yeah, I've never been to Greenland. Um, you know what's amazing with Greenland though is flying over it. Like, I think like once or twice when I come back from maybe London, I the on the uh, tr on the uh, international flight, the plane has flown over Greenland, and it's really amazing. You just see like nothing but like nonstop like nonstop like ice basically. It's just it's you just see nonstop like mountains covered with ice. It's it's incredible. It really is. Let's go here. No, we're talking about Greenland. Thank you, Pythagor or thank you, Python the Great seven seven seven, for the uh, uh, for the for the three months. But yeah, so I've never been to Greenland. Greenland is ice, and Iceland is green, pretty much. Yeah, but but yeah, that's what I would say is that um, it's always amazing when you fly over like when you fly over Greenland. Okay, that's not a good move. Let's just go. Um, let's take and go back. Cat is 75 cents right now. It's actually pretty high in February. It was looking rough. Yeah, but Chad, like, that's the thing, though. 75 cents is different than $1. So when I was in Canada, it was one to one. So, like, I'm used to thinking, like, Canadian dollar, US dollar, same thing. No big deal. But now it's, like, 75 instead of one to one. So it makes a big difference. Yeah, I'm not playing Among Us. I'm really enjoying giving back and playing against the subs. 
Oh, it's Peyton, not Python. Oh, it's Peyton the Great. Sorry, not Python the Great. Sorry, sorry. Uh, apologies, Peyton the Great. But it's spelled P A Y, not P E Y. So P A Y. Oh, is, is this guy a Colts fan or something? Peyton the Great. This better not be some Peyton Manning fan. Go rookie one. That's a free knight, I'll take it. That's a free queen, I'll take it. Chuck check checking mate. <laughs> it's just my name, okay, that's all good, that's all good. Okay, so this is the position from the game. Um, this is the Anderson game against Kizaritsky from 1853 or whatever godforsaken year it was in. Um, so we're playing a game from 1853. Now, Queen B2 was played in the game. Levy and I went over this game. I forget the exact order, but Black's supposed to be okay after Queen takes B2. Um, so we're playing chess from 200 years ago, basically. <laughs> I was there and I remember to say yes, you guys. In case you didn't know, I'm actually, I'm actually, I'm of Scottish heritage and uh, I'm a Highlander. Okay. Oh, uh, by the way, Toby, Toby0709, you are playing me. You got to make a move, dude. You got to make a move, Toby. Okay, rookie one is wrong. So Toby, clearly he's a terrible chess player. Uh, he has an FM, so this means that the guys in 1853 who had no computers and no understanding played better chess than Mr. Toby here. Um, let's see, let's go, uh, let's go knight a6. He's probably confused, yeah, that's probably true too. <laughs> good. I'm probably gonna get sauce, he's got knight f6. Oh, he does this one? I'm joking, of course, you guys, but yeah. It's hard. It's not hard to save a book with all the moves. Yeah, I guess I take. I'm, I mean, I'm sure he has some way to meet me here, probably. If I could turn back time. Oh, he's got H six. Takes Bishop G seven. Takes Queen F six. Ooh, he, there are tricks here. Computers have revived some very old openings. Yeah, no, this is definitely true. Um, uh, I guess I go here and try to hit the knight. Thank you to Thief for the two months. Thank you to Matriva for the four months as well. Thank you so much. Okay, so now he does h6, so I think I have to take this way, because takes, I get checkmated. But when he takes, I take, and then he loses that one. Oh, does he have queen f7 and rook f... No, I just sack. Okay, good. Because there might have been some really weird checkmate ideas or something. But now it's just winning. No, he's not sniping. No, he's not sniping. Or... Is he? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. All right. Okay. Uh, he he probably wasn't sniping, but then but then he probably watching. He just he's like, okay, I'm losing anyway. I might as well have some fun. Uh, I'm white, right? So I guess I take. We're playing this this variant, which is kind of annoying, actually. Go here. I'm gonna make a queen. He makes a queen. I don't actually know what's going on. I mean, actually, I'm threatening to go checkmate. Like, one, two, three, four. This is one. Oh, but he can take! Oh, shisa. Wait, no, but then I have here, here, and here. And he's still getting checkmated. Oh, no, but... Oh, wait, no, my pawns, pawns capture up. So, no, I'm not checkmated. Um... Because takes pawns capture up. So, I'm going to go this way, hit this, and try to checkmate him like this. And if he goes here, I'm just in time. He's not in time. So the right triangle holds. And if he takes, I still take. He's going to have to like push, push to run his king out too and then make it third juicer. And then maybe he goes, he wants to go one, two, and then checkmate like this. 
Um, and it's very messy. Drawing illegal? What's an illegal arrow? I don't understand. What's an illegal arrow, you guys? If you had to run a real marathon, how long you survive? Uh, Donnie Bon, I've done halves. I've done like three halves. So I could maybe, I mean, probably I'd make to like 16 miles, 17, and then I'd probably cramp up and die for an hour. Okay. Okay, this dude is on, this dude is serious about his chest. Um, I think I make, am I getting mated here? No. Oh, but he wa oh, he wants to take this juicer. Oh, he's trying to get dirty here. Um. Maybe I go here. If he takes this, then I still take this and I checkmate him. If he takes, I take and I'm still making a juicer. His queen is stuck. He has to go up to activate. I think I'm winning here. What am I drinking? I'm drinking uh, instant coffee, you guys. I've, that's always what I've. That's always what I what I drink. So I'm still drinking my instant. go here I'm gonna try to make another queen maybe or do something here let's go here I think he thought he was winning but I I, I I cut the diagonal and I hold the glue at the night oh shite oh shoot that's really bad actually uh-oh uh-oh I didn't see wait no no I can push wait if he takes a take and go up and up up and then here and then here. okay I'm probably losing but now I can also wait what's going on if I take oh this is no this just doesn't work I just wonder I thought this worked it doesn't yeah I thought this worked but I, I blundered I thought it was okay it doesn't work although all my pawns are still holding if I can get another queen I maybe have a shot Yeah, this variant is very, very hard, though. What's his threat? He wants to sack, but I don't care. I just keep, keep going. But I don't think this actually works, because I just take. And I go here. He takes, and I block, and I take. Oh, there's going to be a draw. Okay, that's a funny draw. He should not take the draw here. I think after king f5, he... Oh, no, he just wins. He checks and he checks. Easy win. Easy clap. He, he That was a very easy win. Yeah, queen e5 just wins because if I go back, he just checks and he wins. And if I block, I no longer make a queen. He just goes uno, dos, trace, and he wins the game.